Okie dokie to see, we've got uh, an interesting story this week in open court called How the Guinea Fowl Got Her Spots. An excellent story. Uh, some really good morals here and some really good messages here that we'll talk about in a second. However, there's some tough vocabulary in this. First of all, guinea. Tough to pronounce. Very interesting word. Lots of vowels in that word, but it's pronounced guinea and fowl, which means bird. So guinea fowl is a small bird. Uh, and so this story uh, has some interesting characters. The first one uh, has a really interesting name, and the guinea fowl's name is Inganja. Say that with me, Inganja. Difficult, difficult word, Inganja, yeah. So uh, not a lot of words uh, in the English language start with two consonants like that. So that's what we have in this case, Inganja. So he's the main character, uh, the guinea fowl, and uh, his friend is cow, or her friend, sorry, is, uh, is a cow. Uh, and so they're always on the lookout for the enemy, uh, or the villain in this case, which is a lion. And in the end, they do an interesting thing to trick a uh, lion, uh, and pay attention to that, how they trick lion in the end. Uh, some really good morals in this story. I like this story for that reason. Uh, there's morals about friendship, there's morals about helping each other, and it's a story also about cooperation, how two seemingly weaker animals team up and cooperate to outsmart a stronger animal, uh, in this case, lions. So excellent morals here, excellent messages here. Please pay attention to those themes as you read this story. Okay, uh, this story is what we call the combination of a myth and a fable. Uh, it's a myth in the sense that it's a story that tries to explain how things become, how the way uh, things have come about in nature. So in this case, it's trying to explain how the guinea fowl got her spots. Uh, and so that's how this story is a myth. It's also a fable in the sense that it's a story that uses animals. All right, so uh, some difficult reading here. So if you need somebody to read it to you, go ahead. I'm just gonna read the first page because uh, it's a bit of a long story. Now this is a retell, uh, so that we know when we have retold stories, uh, that means those are stories that have been written before that have been rewritten, and that's the case. So it's retold and illustrated by Barbara Knudsen. So the same person uh, did the writing and the illustrations for this. I'm just gonna read you the first quick page, talk about a couple things, because this is a really interesting story. A long time ago, when everything had just been made in Ganja, the guinea fowl had glossy black feathers all over. She had no white spectacles as she does today, or white speckles, excuse me, as she does today, not a single spot. And so that's how it starts, right? So what they mean there by a long time ago when everything had just been made, so right when history began uh, is when this story takes place. So uh, also an interesting historical perspective on this story. All right, uh, enjoy the story. It is hard to read. Uh, get help if you need it, but the character's name is Inganja. Say it again with me, Inganja. Okay, enjoy how guinea fowl got her spots and do the questions afterwards. Uh, and a few of the answers to those questions are things I've just gone over. So you have to watch the video to get the answers. I hope you did. All right, have fun with that story, please, and thank you.